absolute beauty. We just need a bit bigger than that. He's about, yay, much too small, so we'll let him go. How nice is this, getting along the mangroves? Already seen some schools of uh, ocean mullet again. And I just saw a, a little black fish. It didn't look like a um, brim. I mean, a black drummer, I'm not sure. Not an expert on fish species yet. Travel back down a couple of hours south of Brisbane, crossing the New South Wales and the east coast of Australia. Out to an estuary for an overnight camp. Practice the fishing skills. Good to see this fish in the water. As I said in a, um, my last video, the Tangle River there, it's always interesting when you get to the boat ramp. No different here, it was teeming with fish. Lots of little fish, lots of little brim, lots of little bait fish and so forth. And that's always a good sign of a healthy ecosystem. So that was great to see. And always great when you're coming back out, of course, up the river, then to see some more fish in the water with your polarized sunglasses on. So. All bodes well for a good trip. Just trying a little pop a lure out the back, see if there's anything coming up onto the surface. I have seen a couple of bait fish splashing around, so there's something chasing up on the surface. about a uh, afternoon looks like a storm turning up a fair bit of rain cloud out in front of me here a lot of wind picking up across the water as you can probably see in here around me just out flicking out the uh the lure see if we can catch some dinner but of course as always the weather's turned against me so there's another little inlet up in front of me here i'm going to shoot back up into there so i can get in amongst the trees and get out of this wind Well, we've got wet, blustery conditions here now. Not exactly what I'll call fishing weather. A general spray of rain coming across me. Dark and gloomy. We'll give it a go anyway. Well, we are getting four seasons in one day. The sun's back out again. Rain picked up, the rain stopped, the rain's in, the sun's in, the sun's out. Lovely paddling conditions in here. Wind's dropped off a little bit, tucked in behind the trees. Tide's still on its way out, that's okay. Yeah, just really, really nice paddling conditions. Really enjoyable. Cheers, guys. Well, it's been a blowout afternoon. When I got here this morning at 10 a.m., it was just lovely. The tide was coming in. Lovely clear skies, beautiful clear water. But as the days progressed, the forecasted storms and uh, rain and so forth, well certainly the rain has come through, blown up the river, churned it all up. And um, unfortunately not made for very good conditions for fishing. But look, that's one of the problems with camping on an estuary, I suppose. The only problem really is it's very hard to match up the tides, the weather, the wind, etc. on a weekend to get camping. So it is what it is. But still thoroughly enjoyable, really nice to get out on the estuary, it's a lovely piece of water. A little bit busy, probably need to get further up the river to get away from some of the fishermen and so forth, but that's alright. But of course, just relaxing now in the evening, having a beer. And um, we'll think about some dinner, which of course will be, chicken and salad, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it pans out. There's been a bit of big clear sky behind me here, there's been a little bit of cloud movement and so forth. So. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will clear up overnight and we'll get that lovely calm conditions they're forecasting tomorrow. And tomorrow morning, we'll be able to get out and grab some fish for breakfast, which would be absolutely lovely. So, as always, I'm going to sit and enjoy this beer.
Well, unfortunately, the coleslaw I got didn't come with the dressing, but that's okay. We've uh, added a lot more butter to the chicken, which is very, very nice. Not being cool down here tonight by the uh, by the estuary. Really lovely. A bit of wind around, unfortunately, so the water is still quite stirred up. Still going to cast a line in later on this evening, um, closer to dusk, and see if we can't just drag something out for breakfast or for supper, which would be even nicer. But at the moment, I'm just going to eat this meal. Sorry about getting distracted. There's still more mullet jumping out of the water in front of me. It's just so, so frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. So nice to have a campfire. Just coming towards the end of February, which is the end of summer for Australia, Southern Hemisphere. Looking forward to the autumn, I must admit. The great thing about autumn, if you've watched any of my earlier videos, you'd be aware that uh, in autumn the wind starts to drop off, so we get more stable weather patterns. And of course the humidity starts to die up as well, so looking forward to that. It's um, just so nice to have a campfire. It really is lovely. So, nice to get back out again. Whilst you've been watching my videos, if anyone that has been watching my videos for the last few weeks, uh, all the last three videos were actually shot over a period of about four or five days down at my younger brother's place. So, I've been able to stage them out over January and actually take a, a break from filming, which has actually been nice, I must admit. Just to be able to go out and do some camping without having to film. So, this is my first one. Uh, middle or towards the end of February, which is great. So yeah, just uh, back into the filming side of things, hoping the channel goes well this year. I uh, spoke about the channel uh, back at the one on the um, canyons, which was great, and I got a lot of comments around that video, which is really, really good. Lots of likes, lots of comments, really started to flick up the, uh, the subscribers and so forth, so that was fantastic. So. Really looking to develop the channel this year. Um, really interested in people's thoughts on what they'd like to see more of. If you want to see more of estuaries, lakes, rivers, canoeing, is it more motorcycle, hiking? Really interested in everyone's thoughts on this. So if you wouldn't mind putting something down in the comments below on what you like about these particular videos and what you'd like to see more of, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, whilst I enjoy making this and it's really just about you know capturing what I'm doing while I'm out fishing and out camping and so forth, also interested in entertaining you guys you know this is much about the subscribers as I've said in the um, about the canoe community it's really about building a community and I really see that with this channel it's really about trying to develop a community around what, what I do which is minimalist camping and um, understanding what people like to watch in videos and so forth really interested in your thoughts on the length of videos I tend to do about 20 to 30 minute videos typically um, I might make this one a little bit shorter we'll see how we get on but yeah, also mention your thoughts on that. The average view time on my videos is only about nine minutes. So people are obviously fast forwarding, uh, whatever it might be, or just dipping out part way through the video. So I'd be very interested in people's thoughts on that. So yeah, the uh, beautiful evening out here in the river. Absolutely gorgeous. Unfortunately, the clouds are still here, so it's quite warm still. But as I said, with a bit of luck, that'll all kind of clear off and we'll get a nice clear night and uh, that will drop the temperature down quite a bit. So, as always, I'm going to see you with some chocolate, enjoy my cup of tea, and I'll catch up with you good folk in the morning. Mm. Well, what we hoped for has certainly occurred. It's a beautiful, still morning. The tide's just turned and just coming in now, so I've got both the rods out of the canoe. I'm just going to rig up a bait. We'll have this coffee and uh, not sure if I'll change lures or not to double clutch to something else, but we might give that a go first up on the grassy banks here. So, just going to get myself all set up and we'll jump in the canoe and head down and see if we can catch some fish for breakfast. How nice are these conditions? Just mint. Beautiful. Incoming tide. So I picked up a second rod, the running sinker. 
heading back out towards the mouth to come in with the tide and then I'll let the uh, bait bounce along the bottom as I drift along and then flick lures into the bank as well and th theoretically we've got a better chance of getting a fish so that is the plan how beautiful is this just stunning Well, we've got our first fish for the day. Just a tiny little trevally. Get him into this net. Try not to get the lure. Come on, well. little fella. Yeah, not very big, but if we can get his brother and sister, we'll be a happy camper. Well, we know the double clutch now works on trevally. Unfortunately, that guy ended up swallowing the entire treble hook, so I couldn't get it out of him. So I've had to dispatch him. But as I said, that's a good sign. At least we know we can cash Trevally now. It's good. Remember the uh, loss of the Trevally in the last FEO I was in? Devastating stuff. So if you can get one like that, I'm real happy. It's still beautiful conditions out here. Just working against the tide as I go along this bank. And it's probably about another half an hour away from where I want to get to before I start drifting back. Something here, I'm not sure if it's a snag, or it's a fish. He's along the bank here. A few snaggy old trees and so forth. As soon as we get closer. Nope, it's definitely a fish. Ooh, nice trevally. Let's get that all back a little bit here. Get out of a snag coming up. Come back with a snag. I gotta tell you, I'm in no hurry to get this guy on board. I do not want to lose him like the last one. say they're a great fighting fish. Yes. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, but they call them grunters. You can hear him grunting away. He's double hooked. Definitely going to have to change this landing net. It just hooks up the buddy lure more than anything else. So. Push him on the side of the boat here. Unfortunately, he is undersized. So. Chuck him back. And I'll give you a look before we do. That's a nice size little trevally. Absolute beauty. We just need a bit bigger than that. He's about yay much too small, so we'll let him go. Well, that's two Trevally. It's a good start. Just need one of size so we can have it for breakfast. It's great. You just uh, see them hunting bait fish on the surface and so forth, and you can just go into that area and hunt them down yourself. So, pretty happy with these double clutch lures. I'm going to get one that's uh, also a darker brown colour. The water here is quite brown. 
And then also I want to get one that's more like the bait fish out towards the mouth, which is in the uh, silvery blue colours. And I reckon we'll have it covered from a, uh, a trawling lure point of view, at least anyway. But hey, great start to the morning. Really happy with that. Always good when you're catching fish. Well, we've got another one. Doesn't feel very big though, so... Let's see how he looks. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Appears to be... Oh, a big flatty. That's what we want for breakfast. Excellent. Just what we're after. Perfect. Get him into this landing net. Come on. Getting me wet here. Okay. We're going to measure him up. And he is size, so he is coming back with me. There we go. Beautiful flathead. For those of you from overseas, these guys are really nice eating. We'll take him back to camp and that will do us for breakfast. Very happy. Double clutch does it again. Okay, so for those of you from overseas, this is a flathead. The idea of these guys is you actually fill them down this way. So rather than the other way around, we actually do it in from the sides here and down along the shanks. So we'll give that a go. I did sharpen the knife before I came, so we'll see how that gets on. But there's really sharp spines here, and really sharp spines into there, and in under the dorsal fin. So we've got to be very careful what we're doing here, but we'll give it a go. So the same thing. Back in under the fins here. Let's see if we can do a better job on this one. That's better. Doesn't help when you're a bit rusty. So yeah, essentially you end up with two beautiful fillets. We'll put the rest of that guy in for the crabs and so forth. There are a few little pin bones here which we'll get out as well. So we'll just grab the pliers, get those guys out, we'll get rid of this. Yeah, it's got a feel in here, find the little bones. I think that'll do him as well. So, just came up into some nice bite-sized pieces. Once again, I actually like the, the skin, so understand that's a personal thing, but for me, I actually like the skin. It gives it a nice little crunch. It's a bit like uh, pork crackling from that point of view. This is going to go down an absolute treat for breakfast, I've got to tell you. And there we have it. Some nice little fillet for breakfast. We'll cook those up on the stove and see how they turn out. This is where a fire would be much better for cooking, but unfortunately it's just too hot. I don't really want to be uh, putting on a fire this time of the day. Especially when I'm about to pack up camp and go out to breakfast, so... Yeah, it's looking good. I think we're almost done there now. Yep, that will do it. Wow. Cannot beat catching your own food food and eating it. Just unreal. Mmm. Fish is lovely and sweet. 
nice crunch on the um, skin. Just beautiful. Really love the eating. My dad was right. It's one of the best eating fish you can get. Ah, uh, well, that was a beautiful breakfast this morning. So nice to catch a fish and have it for breakfast. Heading back to the car now. Mid morning, about nine o'clock. This is the perfect time out of camp. Cruise back to Brisbane. It's only about a couple of hours, which is easy. Have we'll a coffee on the way. Yeah, fantastic camping trip. Really enjoyable. Great little camping spot. Beautiful conditions today, which is lovely. And yesterday morning. So I've been absolutely blessed as always. But thanks for coming along for this adventure, guys. Unfortunately, I can't do videos any more often than every two weeks, but I do have family and commitments, unfortunately. So I am stuck with fortnightly videos. So if you'd like to support the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if that's what you like to do as well. I always love subscribers. And uh, join my little paddling canoe community and minimalist camping community. So I look forward to seeing all you folks in two weeks' time. Bye for now.